All right, I'm going to program a song and perform it for you using the Rolly Blocks and the associated Noise app. So I'm going to start by launching the Noise app. And right away, I have an empty session. It just has the title of my song in it, but there's nothing else that I've done. So we're literally starting from zero right now. So first things first is I need to connect the blocks. So I'm going to turn them on here. And then I'm going to navigate to the little gear up here and then select connect blocks. So you can see that noise is recognizing that the blocks are here. And I have them disconnected like this, because this is the best way to get them all connected. And starting with the light pad block, I'm going to just connect one by one until they're all connected. And then put them all together. Then I'm going to exit and be back to my song. So I'm going to start by choosing a BPM. I'm going to select the click here, and I'm going to drag this dot down to 117 BPM, which is what I want my song to be at. Next thing, I'm going to load up the different tracks. So starting with the drum kit here, I'm going to use this button to go through the different tracks, and I'm going to choose this Riza Kung Fu drum kit. So some of the kits have patterns already sequenced into each pad, and this one is just responding to me as I play it. It's got some cool kung fu sounds and some traditional drum sounds as well. So it's cool. It's got um, a lot of options for me to use as I sequence my song. And then I'm going to press the button on the left-hand side of the light pad block to move to the next track. And I'm going to load up this liquid sword bass. This is the bass I want to use. So I'm going to add a little bit of texture and dimension to the sound. And by turning on the arpeggiator, we get a little bit more motion happening. But I want to even tweak this a little bit more. So I'm going to swipe left two times. I'm going to click on the, arpe on the arpeggiator here. And the only thing I'm really going to do is change the sequence that the notes are being arpeggiated in. So I'm going to put this on a randomized sequence. Great, sounds good. And I'm also going to transpose this down an octave. So I've hit the octave button here, and I'm going to press the minus button. And I'm the octave that I want to be in now. So again, one more time, moving to the next track. This time, I'm going to use a sound called suspense chords. When I was going through the different sounds and choosing them, I was, I was really drawn to things that were almost analog in texture or like emulations of traditionally real instruments like this a South African guitar sound. And then as well as the next sound that I'm gonna choose, this is the mellow duck sound. So it's a really interesting flute noise with a lot of texture and a lot of movement to it. So I've got all my tracks selected and loaded into the app, and now I'm ready to sequence them. So back to the drum rack. Every single one of these squares here is going to hold a four bar pattern. So I'm going to start by selecting the square that I want to record into. And then I'm going to turn the metronome on as well so I can hear it while I'm recording these preliminary patterns. But then once I get going, I'll turn it off. When I hit record, it's going to give me a four beat count in. So I have one measure and then I'm immediately recording. So I've got snap on, so it should just quantize these patterns for me right off the bat. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to turn this metronome off for now. And I'm gonna move to the bass track and I'm gonna start recording some more textures. So if I turn the metronome on, you can see that I'm given a visual representation of how far along in the loop we are. I'm gonna select this bass part. So you can 
see it uh, quantizes for me. Even if I'm slightly off, it's gonna clean up the pattern for me really nicely. So I'm gonna go to the next part of the vase and program this. Perfect. And for the third one, back to the beginning. Perfect. All right, so moving on to the next sequence, I'm going to start working with these. So it's in an octave that's too low. I want to be up an octave. So I'm going to select the octave button from this block here and then press the plus sign. So you can see the range is actually represented along the top. So if I'm going down the octave or up the octave, and this is where I want to be. All right, selecting the place where I want to record into. All right, moving on to the second pattern. Perfect. We'll go back to this pattern here so I can record the next drum part. So back to the drums here. I'm gonna record into this other section. for my song. So I'm gonna go to this last track, which I've left for me to perform live with. And I'll be singing the song. I'll be launching these clips and these sequences and playing along with this last parameter and track. <laughs> 